What's going on, Fanatic family? Thank you so much for checking out the video today. I am very excited to finally be able to do this video. It's on Happy Land Studio on some fragrances that were sent from E.J. Wells himself, uh, the owner of the company, for review. As always, these will be my genuine reviews of the fragrances. Please stay put for the entire video. I have an awesome giveaway that's going to take place towards the end of the video, and I would love for you to get entered. If you're not familiar with Happy Land Studio, they're a relatively new company. They produce solid colognes as well as fragrances. I really like these fragrances that were sent to me, not just because they were sent to me for review, but for the fact that these fragrances were very well put together. The quality of the ingredients from my nose um, shows that there's definitely some quality workmanship behind them. And I really like the owner, EJ Wells, is a very personable individual and I greatly appreciate um, his generosity in sending these samples out. So we'll be going over three of their fragrances that were sent for review. The first one starting with Happy Land Signature, also Blue Fire, and finishing with their fragrance Barbershop. There is also a special in here that we're gonna go over, which is a brand new fragrance that he just sent me the other day. We'll definitely be talking about that because I absolutely love it and I want to share that information with you guys as well. Now when I do fragrance reviews, uh, specifically for new companies, I sometimes try to stray away from bringing up other companies. I'm not trying to be biased, I'm not trying to bring up competition. I strictly want to talk about the fragrance that I am reviewing and talk about the company that I'm reviewing. I'm jumping right into the Signature Scent Happy Land Signature. I really like this one. The atomizers are ridiculously good. I think for this one, you probably only need about one spray. Two might be overdoing it. It's a very powerful fragrance. It's very loud in the opening, but it's a very beautiful and a very masculine fragrance in my opinion. I know what I said before, guys, but this fragrance is a little similar to Fez 1984 from Alexandria Fragrances. I wouldn't say it's the exact fragrance because it's not. I would just say that it slightly resembles the opening as in Hefez 1984, but this right here is a totally different fragrance. If you wear it throughout the day, you're going to understand that the, the opening is kind of similar a little bit, maybe to the tobacco, the spicy tobacco that you're getting, but in the mid to the dry down, you're totally not getting that fragrance. Um, so some people may say, hey, this is the same fragrance. It's not. It's not the same fragrance. So just to kind of crush that before people start saying that on, on social media, it's not the same fragrance. It resembles it slightly in the opening. And that, to me, in my opinion, is about it. With the Happy Land Signature getting a slightly gourmand vibe, in my opinion, I do feel this fragrance operates better in the colder months versus the warmer months. Probably better at nighttime than during the day. However, that's just my opinion. I do feel that this fragrance is exceptional. The quality is exceptional. You're definitely getting a great deal of projection. I'm getting about three to four hours of solid projection and about 10 hours of longevity uh, of this fragrance. It's exceptional in my opinion. I really enjoy the spicy tobacco vibe that I'm getting in the opening and that's probably what makes me like it the most. Moving on to a fan favorite is Happy Land's Blue Fire. I really like this fragrance, it's very unique. It's described as a unisex fragrance, um, obviously from the picture, that's what I get from it. But it's a very uh, versatile fragrance. I think it can operate in the summertime, in the cooler months, probably in the spring fairly well, in the fall. I definitely think this is something that you can wear in the office. I think this is something that you can go to uh, with friends, out you know, partying or clubbing, whatever it may be. I think this is an all-around good fragrance. It is very unique, so if you're not a fan of iris or if you're not a fan of musk, this may not be a fragrance that sits well with you. However, if you are a fan of those notes in a fragrance, this is probably going to be an exceptional fragrance for you. Now going over the atomizer as before, these atomizers offer an even distribution of the fragrance and it's just an amazing amount of fragrance that comes out with each spray. I think one spray is going to get the job done, as in the last one. And I really like this. Again, 
I just love it. I'm getting a nice musk in the opening. And I, I'm picking up on Iris in the opening. I absolutely love this fragrance. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Shout out to EJ Wells again. Thank you so much for sending these fragrances. These, every single fragrance that has been sent to me is exceptional. I'm not getting any synthetic vibes from this. Everything is very natural in my opinion. And again, it's just, it's such an amazing fragrance in my opinion. Every single one of them, but to include this one, they're just so well prepared. I am really digging all these fragrances. Now, some of the other notes that you're picking up is you're getting orris root out of this one. Again, iris, musk, strawberry. And then there are some notes that he doesn't really want to discuss. It's his own um, creation, obviously. So he wants to kind of keep it concealed. I totally respect that. Definitely a great fragrance. If you like those notes, if you like what this one sounds like, definitely check it out. Now, if you're a fan of barbershop fragrances, I want you to hold yourself right now. I want you to just sit back. Make sure you're seated because this fragrance is about to blow your mind. This fragrance is outrageous. If you are a fan of barbershop fragrances, if this is something that turns your gears, if this is something that makes you smile, this one right here is going to be your fragrance. So my favorite out of the three is barbershop. As already mentioned, I absolutely love this fragrance. It's described by EJ Wells as a new take on a classic fragrance. I would definitely agree with him. I enjoy barbershop fragrances. There's some other companies that I have reviewed their products, not on video, but just for my personal uh, take of it. And I would say there were some notes in their barbershop fragrances that I definitely wasn't cool with, definitely didn't side well with me. I definitely don't wear those a lot. I definitely will be reaching for this fragrance quite a bit. Um, I think it's a very versatile fragrance. If you love that barbershop feel, if you have a memory um, that barbershop fragrances bring back to you, this is going to be one of the fragrances that you want to go to. Definitely an awesome fragrance. It's well put together. Quality ingredients, in my opinion, from what I'm picking up. And I absolutely love it. Going over the Atomizer, as with the other ones, you're getting that solid stream of fragrance. As with the other ones, it's exceptional. You're going to probably only need one or two sprays, and you will be good for the day. Now, I know I didn't talk about the longevity or the projection with uh, Blue Fire, but that one was, I'm getting about two to three hours of solid projection. Again, about eight to 10 hours of longevity with that fragrance. And I'm getting about roughly the same with Barbershop. I think that's exceptional, um, especially with a new fragrance house, but the quality of these ingredients are, are amazing. It's outstanding. I really love this fragrance. I really like the opening of it. If you guys are a fan of Bitter Orange, you're gonna absolutely fall in love with this fragrance. There are some other notes in here. Uh, we'll go over those. You're getting, uh, so you got the Bitter Orange, you're getting bits of lavender. I don't pick up a lot, just a, like a, a hint of lavender. You're getting some oat moss, some patchouli, that beautiful leather that I like it. It, it just kind of embodies the whole fragrance. Um, in the mid to the dry down, you kind of pick it up slightly in the opening, but in the mid to the dry down is when you're actually going to get that really beautiful leather uh, note. So if you're a fan of leather, this is going to be something you want to check out as well. And then in Broxton, so I really like this fragrance. Uh, the three that I have checked out, I think they're, as again, exceptional quality. I think EJ Wells has done an exceptional job in mastering these fragrances. And I am so happy that he reached out to me um, to send these fragrances and then he also stated that we could do a free giveaway with a fragrance that I wanted to give to you guys so what we're gonna do to make the video that much better this review I'm going to give away a 50 ml bottle of this barbershop fragrance so all you have to do is drop a comment below of a fragrance that you enjoy for the summer or if you have a specific barbershop fragrance that you like Go ahead and drop it in the comment section and then let me know where you're from. This is unfortunately only restricted to United States. So please um, let me know where you're from in the United States. Drop a comment below and you will be entered to win a full brand new 50 ml bottle of Barbershop. Like I said guys, I try to be very genuine with my fragrance reviews. These are exceptional quality. I want you to experience that. I absolutely love this fragrance. There is other YouTube fragrance reviewers who have smelled these fragrances and quite a few of them have pinpointed 
the bitter orange in this uh, fragrance and they absolutely love it. I think it's a wonderful barbershop fragrance. It's probably one of the best that I have in my collection to be honest. Now I couldn't leave you guys without talking about this new fragrance that was sent to me. Now this one is one he just released. I believe he put a post today or a couple days ago. It's uh, Core Cafe. I believe that that might be how you say it. I might have said it wrong, but this is exceptional if you love leather. If you're a leather fan, this is definitely something you want to check out. Um, the Atomizer, pretty solid, uh, pretty even distribution of the fragrance. It is it is definitely a beautiful fragrance. It's very clean. Um, the, some of the notes you're getting in this one is you're getting definitely. You're getting leather on the top. You got some coffee, some almonds, some musk. I, I really like this fragrance. It's, all these fragrances have been so unique in my opinion. And that's why they sit so close to my heart for me. I definitely enjoy these fragrances. I am definitely so grateful for EJ Wells and sending these fragrances for me to check out. For me to use and enjoy because I'm already creating memories with these fragrances. Now also guys, I have a discount code for you. Fanatic20. It's going to also be in the description below, so go to the website, check out the social media contacts, but go to the website, use the discount code, get your 20% off, get you some of these bottles, check them out, let me know in the comments later on of what you think about them. I love to hear stuff like that, I love talking about fragrances, and I love everything about fragrances. Thank you so much guys for checking out the channel, thank you for checking out the video, another big shout out to EJ Wells for sending these fragrances. Thank you so much, sir, for your generosity. If you guys are new to the Fanatic family and you haven't considered subscribing, please make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you click the bell icon so you can get the most updated and current information that I'm putting out. As always, guys, I always have new videos coming out. I always have new fragrances coming in. So you guys stay safe, be blessed, and keep it locked. Peace.